a king, while visiting his wife's apartments, took a monkey from a neighboring stable for a pet. He kept him constantly close at hand for his amusement, for as it is said, parrots, partridges, doves, rams, monkeys, and such creatures are a king's natural companions. It goes without saying that the monkey, fed on the various dishes that the king gave him, grew large and was given respect by all who surrounded the king. Indeed, due to his love and exceeding the trust of the monkey, the king gave him a sword to carry. In the vicinity of the palace, the king had a grove artfully planted with many trees of various sorts. Early in the springtime, the king noticed how beautiful the grove was. Its blossoms exuded a magnificent fragrance, while swarms of bees sang praise to the god of love. Thus overcome by love, he entered the grove with his favorite wife. He ordered all his servants to wait for him at the entrance. After having pleasantly strolled through and observing the grove, he grew tired and said to his monkey, I want to sleep a little while in this arbor of flowers. Take care that nothing disturbs me, having said this, the king fell asleep. Presently a bee, pursuing the aroma of the flowers, beetle, and musk, flew up and lit on his head. Seeing this, the monkey thought angrily, what is this? Am I to allow this common creature to bite the king before my very eyes? With that, he proceeded to drive it away. However, in spite of the monkey's defense, the bee approached the king again and again. Finally, blinded by anger, the monkey drew his sword and struck down the bee with a single blow. However, the same impact also split the king's head. The queen, who was sleeping next to the king jumped up in terror. Seeing the crime, she said, Oh, oh, you foolish monkey. What have you done to the king who placed such trust in you? The monkey explained how it had happened, but after that, he was shunned and scorned by everyone. Thus it is said, do not choose a fool for a friend, for the king was killed by a monkey. And I say, it is better to have a clever enemy than a foolish friend.